All right, we are ready to code. Now, instinctively, you may want to start by creating a queen class. And you could, however, it wouldn't be too useful for our approach. The queen in our app is simply an X letter on the board. The queen doesn't move around the board, we simply place eight queens on the board and then evaluate their positions. So in a way, we simply place eight axes on the board and, and evaluate where on the board the axes are. So for our purposes, we do not need queen class as we do not need any properties or methods. So the first thing we will code is a board class that will represent the chessboard. All right, so here's my board class. As always, let's make it public. And the board class will be simple. The board will have two states. The first state is initialized board that happens before each round takes place. This board will simply contain all empty cells. This is the initial state before we place the queens on the board. And of course, the second state is the final state when all queens are on the board. We don't have to do anything with the board at that point other than simply display it on the screen showing us the positions of all the queens. So the board consists of cells and each cell will either have a queen on it or will be empty. Therefore, we need two constants, one for the empty cell, which can be represented, for example, by a character of a dot, and one for queen character, which can be represented with a character of x. All right, so I have my constants, and we also need a variable that will be a representation of the whole board. And since our board has rows and columns, the best suited is, of course, a two-dimensional array of characters into which we will place the empty cells or queen characters. So a simple two-dimensional character array. Now we can initialize the array and the best place to do that is in the constructor. So I initialize the array to 8 by 8 which is the standard chessboard. Now we have initialized the array but the array is still empty. It does not contain any characters. So at the beginning we need to initialize the board to have all empty cells, meaning we need to place a dot character in each index of our array. So I'm going to create a method that will initialize the board. So here's my method. It simply uses a nested loop to loop through each index of the board array and places the board character, which is the dot, as a value that each index now contains after the loop runs. And we can use a similar method with a similar loop to display the board. So once again, we are looping through each index of the two-dimensional array of board. Now there's one difference here between the display board and to initialize the board, and that is that the display method needs to actually show the board on the screen. So before we place the character into the array, and now to write the character from the array on the screen. And because of that, after I finish each row, I of course need to move to the next row after the inner loop finishes, because one inner loop displays one row. So after that, we want to move to the next row. And actually, I'm going to add one more space. And now I'm actually leaving one blank row. So I will have one space on the bottom of every cell on the board. And I'm going to also add spaces to the right of each cell. So that way they are spaced out into more of a square with uh, some room between each of the cells. All right, and that's it for the board. The board is now ready to be used. So in the next video, we will start coding the logic for our strategy of placing queens on the board. Thanks for watching.